Dad's doing something. We don't know what he's so, telling us. These are these things. And this is the tractor. Oh, there's a big one. We got the quick hit shaking off and Terry is now trying to disconnect the solenoid on the PTO we're hopeful that the PTO break is what has come apart and is, is plugging our filters that's what we hope all right so this is the back end of the cat we're hopeful that that the PTO the PTO is not turning off and we just checked the solenoid, which is was plugged in here, so it's still not working. And again, our big issue is we got uh, metal in the filter. So we're hopeful that this has a break out of it. So we're going to take this panel up here off and then see what we see. It was round, not heart-shaped. Yeah, and so that matches. That would have matched up. That should have set. That should have set in there. Okay. So it didn't help none, did it? No. Okay. Clutch plates and friction plates, right? Yeah. And they fit in here. And then this is the, the brake that we believe. Well, we know this is the has no brake material on it. If I can get it to stay put. Yeah, so it would have a material on there that would stop this piece, so it would go clear around that, and it is gone. So we're hopeful between that and clutch plates over there that that may be their car part. We hope, we hope, we hope, we hope. We'll see. All right, so I missed a few videos, but so those are out. When we check the spec, um, it, it was a little shy now and there are some places where these are that one there is chipped pretty good actually right I'll get my finger in the right spot right in there those are chipped so we got to change them out um, got them changed out here on the all access picnic table workbench and Terry has put in the oil which was something and we torque these back down. Bottom two have Loctite in, that's according to the manufacturer. We're not sure but whether that solenoid is working or not working. We'll see here in a second. All right. All right. We're in here. Here we go, Lord willing. Making some noises, but of course it has to oil has to come up. It's turning. Supposed to be. Okay, three fourteen, three thirty four. Turn your PTO on. Oh. Whoops. That's the PTO that pulls it off. It's supposed to be on. It it's on now. It's because it stayed stuck. The lights on. And the code is still up there. and 334 is high and or low uh, solenoid PTO sensor. So we know that something's going on with that. That's where we're at right now. Dion's doing something. We don't know what he's telling us. These are these things. This is the tractor. Oh, there's a big one. 
station. This is the tractor. Here we have the the clutch, PTO clutch out. These are the discs, clutch discs here. This is the shaft that goes into the tractor. And then this is the solenoid right here that allows the pressure to affect the clutch plates. Uh, all of this uh, we pulled out for the second time and goes right back on there. Let up on it. <clears throat> okay, Jerry, you're in. Well, the rest is. You got any idea how to put this back together? That's what I'm. That yeah, makes me nervous. Book. It's in the book. <laughs> Who can read? You do it yourself. You might as well figure out how to read. I'm trying to cut back on my reading. Mm -hmm. Did you figure out how to get that one out? Picking and a grinning. So that's a valve body that actually PTO helps the brake. Break. PTO brake. So that's it. And they don't make it anymore. Isn't that fascinating? I don't know. Blow it up. Well, this morning I had to take five because it'll only take a minute. But uh, update on the cat as dion says the cat tracked tractor he says it really fast it's, it's funny to listen to him say well there's always good and bad news right so uh terry this yesterday now this is early this morning early this morning <laughs> this is early morning i had terry start uh changing filters because we was, had all the wires uh put back together and I'm gonna try here to see if you can see. You see that kind of shiny stuff down there? <laughs> he had a magnet with him and he put it down in the filter and he said, uh, hey, Mark, this don't look good. I think you can see it there. See that stuff? Oh my goodness. So, plan B or D or F or G. Um, so we hustled and got a, another oil sample sent in and it will come back this time with something because we made sure to put the filings in there. Hopefully. And so it looks like what, what will end up happening. Let's see if I can get this. Cab will come off, split the tractor right here. Engine will come out. Uh, tracks come off and then depending on what we find it could be a steering clutch in there on each side could be the PTO clutch on the back side let's hope <clears throat> or is the transmission which is right in there now the good news on all this is it's just parts I mean we you know we can do it we can do it uh, I was hoping it was the other, but the great thing is, is we found that out before we got into planting season. That's the kind of the rough thing if you're not familiar with farming. If we need to depend on the tractor and we put it all back together, it's not like I can stop for two weeks and disassemble it and put it back together. That, that just is not, that didn't work. So that's what's gonna happen for the kitty cat. Oh, hey, remind me to tell you about the story uh, of Sherry telling her uh, folks that she worked with at the hospital about 
me and Shadow fixing the cat. <laughs> That's a good one. All right, back to the important stuff. Like and subscribe on YouTube and follow us on Facebook. Ask your questions so we can all learn together. Come and grow with us.